All right, folks, welcome back. So now I'm working on 762 by 39 loads. These are the Nosler 123 grain ballistic tips. I have 15 loaded up with uh, accurate 1680, and I have 15 loaded up with CFE BLK. I've tested the CFE BLK and 1680 before. I haven't tested it with these. I've tested it with the ballistic tips, but not the Varmageddon bullets. Uh, they're both the same weight, but they could shoot different. So um, now the uh, this is my dynamic munitions uh, lower. This is my um, Bear Creek Arsenal barrel, Vortex Diamondback uh, three to nine, and uh, my chronograph is dead. The battery is dead, so I'm gonna not I'm not gonna have any uh, velocity for this, but that'll save time. So let's uh, get some shooting done. So the first, uh, the top row is going to be the 1680. I should probably adjust this scope. All right, so that was uh, that was a starting charge of 25.4. That pretty nice tight group. This next charge is 25.7. Now these are uh, oh these are what cases are these? These are federal cases, and. Uh, Believe to that they were they were once fired. So now the scope is now the, the shots are low and right. So take that for where they're where they're hitting, but Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I moved my scope up and uh, up and over because they're hitting. They're not hitting where they. I had this. Scope on my 6.5 Grendel. So, readjust here for this uh, 7.62 by 39. So, I'm going to go back over to the uh, top left target. This is uh, the CFE BLK powder, 27.3. Alright, this is going to be on the bottom target, bottom left. Now, for everybody that says, you know, 7.62 by 39 isn't worth reloading, if you have an AR and you want better accuracy than, than tool ammo or wolf or, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cheap, you know, I understand the, the, the cost value there. And... Unfortunately, getting brass cases for 762 by 39, it's pretty expensive. You know, for 
factory new or uh, or you know buying them online for range pickup it's 762 by 39 it's like 25 100 which isn't horrible but and if they're good you can reuse them but but these groups really show how well you know hand loading can can be for a 762 by 39 all right, this is um, this is 27.5. Oh, wait. Oh shit. Yep. All right, screw it up. This. All right, I'll take those groups any day. Fantastic. Uh, that uh, that one wasn't the best, but there was one shot. I didn't have the rifle stock up against my shoulder, and uh, it 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 threw the uh, threw the shot off. So, all right. Uh, I think my target camera is dead down there. So uh, let's take a walk. All right. So this top top row here is the accurate 1680, and. Uh, Let's see here. This here, these these first five right here, that is um, 25.4. This here is 25.7. And then I adjusted my scope. Instead of shooting over here, I moved it back over here. And uh, there's, there's four here and five here, and that is 26 grains of accurate 1680. Like I said, those are seated at 2.190. They just they they sit just a just at the um, the crimp. Yeah, this is um, CFE B OK. This is 27, uh, 27 grains here. One, two, three, four, and five. This is twenty seven three. One, two, three, four, and five. Maybe uh, there might be five right here because I, I want to say this is that one shot that that I had at twenty seven five. The wasn't the, the stock wasn't completely in my shoulder, so I want to say that one through here or way down here. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. I'm almost certain that's 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 one of the new shots today. And I'm not sure if that's mine. See, this this target's been this you know this this isn't all this wasn't a brand new piece of cardboard today. This is uh, this is already on this this stand here, so. This target is obviously mine. Anyways, rambling. Let me uh, switch this camera around and uh, talk. All right, so 762 by 39. If you want to hand load, you can get some good accuracy with it. Um, I know. I know a lot of people say it's not worth it. You know, because it, it, I mean, if you want to buy the the steel case or or even Winchester white box, the um, it's definitely cheap. You know, but. Uh, for better accuracy, I like to I like to hand load, and I like to be able to get groups like that because it's pretty damn good, even with a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. So that's that's my philosophy on 762 by 39. I like to be able to have good accuracy, and you know if I'm going to use this rifle for hunting like I did a couple of years ago, and uh, I want to know that it's going to shoot where I'm where I'm aiming. So. That's the way I look at it, and tell you what, those nozzle of Armageddon's, those bullets would, would tear something up. That's a fact. I'm probably going to uh, do a water jug test and see uh, see if I can capture capture the bullets and uh, and see see how they how they handle, how they expand, and all that. So, all right, that is going to do it, and uh, for today. And thanks for watching. Bye. We'll catch you all soon. Bye.